Welcome back to the next installment of our educational mini-series, Improvisation Basic Military Training. In this course, we teach everyone from beginners to pros the basics of improvisation. Today's topic is arpeggios, inversions, and extensions. Let's dive in. First off, what is an arpeggio? An arpeggio is the notes of a chord played in succession. Let's look at a C major chord. Its arpeggio would just be the notes of the C major chord played in succession. Now what can we do with an arpeggio? Well, we can improvise over a chord progression using basic patterns and repetition just playing the arpeggio. It would sound like this. Now let's try and add something to make the chord a little more complicated. This is called an inversion. An inversion is when you stack the notes of a chord in different orders. Let's pretend a C major chord is like a bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich. We're just going to move how we stack the bacon, lettuce, and tomato. What if we put the bacon on top of the sandwich? Now we have a lettuce, tomato, bacon sandwich. What if we put the lettuce on top of that? Now we have a tomato, bacon, lettuce sandwich. These are the inversions. So now, let's try playing some inversions over a chord progression. This is a very popular jazz chord progression called Rhythm Changes. We're going to connect the chords using inversions. It's going to sound like this. Now we're going to make it even more complicated. We're going to throw in something called extensions. What's an extension? An extension can be the 7th, 9th, 11th, 13th note of a major or minor scale that we throw in to our arpeggio to make it a little more interesting. So let's look at our C major scale. We have our first note, the second note, the third note, the fourth note, the fifth note, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, and the ninth. And when we play the C major chord, we already have the first, the third, and the fifth notes. Now we're going to throw in the 7th and the 9th. You can throw in more, but we're going to make it simple right now and just use the 7th and 9th extensions. When you add this in, it's going to add a little more flavor to what you're doing. Let's try rhythm changes again, and let's try and connect the chords that we're playing using inversions, but throw in some extensions now. Here we go. Now that we covered arpeggios, inversions, and extensions, we still want to be musical. So we still want to think about repetition, patterns, and space. I'm going to show you what that's going to sound like. Two, three, and four. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.